Hey guys, how are you? I am currently at home isolating with COVID, so thought today I will take you on a little room tour. During my isolation I've been doing some spring cleaning, and decluttering, throwing away clothes and making like little donation piles. And so yeah, the room's looking pretty good. Maybe doesn't always look this good or clean, so yeah, what better time to do it than now? I do enjoy a bit of interior design, even just for myself really, but yeah, I just really like home decor and creating calm space for myself. I like a lot of earthy colours and items made of wood and natural things. This creates a very peaceful, quiet space. And yeah, as much as I do appreciate uh, really rare and unique items that maybe cost a little more money, I'd say most of my stuff is actually just from Ikea and Kmart. And then a few random bits and pieces, it's old rickety boxes, wooden boxes and things like that. So it's good to be able to decorate on a budget as well. It's important because it's accessible for everybody and everyone can afford to make their home look nice. So yeah, I'm just going to flip my camera around and we'll get started. I think we will start out here in this room here. Just off my main, off the bedroom, and so I decided to turn it into the closet area because I just could. There's also no like electrical plugs in here or anything. I have an idea to sort of take away these shelves because they actually came with the room, like they belong to the landlord. So I like to take those away and put up some kind of a shelf so everything will be kind of open, Every, all the clothes will just be folded. I have to keep it really neat so we'll see how that goes. This clothing rack, I've had it for a few years. I got it second hand and it's from Ikea. It's like, I don't know if you can, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's cast iron, I believe. It's that kind of metal. And yeah, it's in really good condition. It, you can unscrew it, it kind of sort of comes apart. So it's easy to transport and you sort of can't see them, but it has these like grills. It's not like flat, that's why I have this blanket there because not all the shoes can stand up straight on those grills. So yeah, I really like it. I got it second hand for like $80 or something. There's a little nook in there. That's where I've got my, my ring light good for filming and then I've got some jewelry I'm not a big jewelry wearer and some sunglasses in there and then just some different fragrances that's the one that I did the video on recently and then just got a mirror, that's also, I got that from an antique store. I got my plants, love my plants. And I'm also going to get another unit to put here instead of the shoe rack because I just can't keep that area neat. So yeah, I'm just going to have like a cabinet that still has I think one or two shelves in it and then I'll just place the shoes in there that I use 
more regularly. Another plant. And this little tabletop I made from these two concrete besser blocks. They're literally a few dollars from Bunnings. And then this random piece of wood that I found. Yeah, I really like it. Very DIY. And then also there's this cute mirror that I got from H&M ages ago. They actually have a really nice homewares line. Then going into the bedroom. So an office area, bed, TV. And then that's sort of like the entryway. I try to make it like an entry area. These baskets, I love these baskets. They're from Ikea. I got them a while ago. And it's just sort of like candles. And then down here, that's like some office-y stuff which I'm going to, I want to buy these extra things from Ikea, maybe like doors that go across there, or some drawers, because these things are not very, like, they don't make very good use of the space. They're from Officeworks, I think. They're pretty good too. They're heavy, so they stay in position, which is good. And I've got a keyboard. Let's put those there. This is a keyboard. Try not to break it. I haven't played this in a long time. I'm not going to take the whole thing off, but okay, it's an Akai. It's really good. It's like drum pads. It's got these buttons over here as well. Yeah, I'm trying to learn piano for the longest time. You can see I used to put the little like notes on there. It was helpful. And then I think here, I think I was trying to learn about chords or something chord progressions. I can't remember. God, this is a printer. So I actually got that for free. It's a pretty good printer. And then this is an IKEA, IKEA shelf, Ka the Kallax. Not really sure how to say it. Just got a couple of microphones behind there and some books. And then just, yeah, some drawers. And then down there is just like some paperwork. And I think there's stuff for my camera down there as well. And I just wanted to show you this skull here. If you guys have probably seen the Skull Vodka company. And I put this LED. Like I can't, can you see it? See how there's like a, like a thing going around like that? It's like an LED strip. And the glass and the LED like that. See how it co creates that cool light on the wall? Yeah, see that? See how that looks? It's not that cool. Goes up on the ceiling. Yeah, I just love it. Looks rad. Under the desk. This cool little contraption. If you can see it probably if I take these off. M like sticks up under the desk and it's it's a headphone holder. Yeah, I don't love my office space. I need to do something with it, but I'm not really sure yet what to do. I think I just don't like being in this corner here. So I've got this one window. I've got one window there. And 
Yeah, I just lay on my bed and look out into the garden. So sometimes I wonder if I should put my desk over here, but yeah, we'll see. I don't know if, I don't know if that'll happen. So yeah, the bedroom, the bed area. This bed's actually kind of cool. It's got like the mattress like pops open and there's, you can put storage underneath. You can see my dog being a good boy, but he's put dirt on the sheet. Like I just put this sheet on this morning and he stepped on it immediately and we need a break from all this mud. The yard is still so muddy. You just stand on the grass and your feet get covered in mud. So yeah, we've got this bedside table over here that I got from someone, I think it was from Gumtree, which is kind of like a marketplace area, like Facebook marketplace. And I love it. I don't know, it's so weird, but it's just so funky. And that's my Jimi Hendrix. It's like actually a metal. It's metal. Actually, before I forget, I just want to show you this lamp. Yeah, so this lamp is pretty cool. Actually, it's the lamp shade is cool. I'll just turn that on. Looks nice with the light on. Actually, if it was nighttime, it would look even better. But the lampshade, that's from Ikea. Look at the inside. So golden. So nice. At nighttime, when you turn these on, they give a nice warm glow to the room. And then the actual lamp itself, like the lamp holder, I guess you call that, goes down there and it's got this marble base. That's from Kmart. And it was TV. Yeah, this unit is from Kmart and I'm gonna get the bigger size for the shoes out at the doorway. And this thing is this little, tiny little fan, like it's a very light fan. It doesn't, you don't feel it, but there's these essential oils. Actually, it's this thing over here. It's the same thing as this. It's called green goo. It's, yeah, tea tree and cinnamon. I think there's something else in it as well, but it's literally goo. Like I don't want to stick my finger in it, but yeah. So it's like it's got this tiny little fan in there that just slowly diffuses the essential oils in the air. But also that's why I use the dehumidifier as well, definitely to control the mold. This little thing is cute little pirate box. This candle is finished. I like the container still. These are from Ikea. Just little ceramic cactuses. Got this Salvador Dali clock. It's not even working. That's not the time. It needs a battery. And then we've just got this candle down here. It's a shame you can't smell it. It's so delicious. It's vanilla. It's such a yummy vanilla candle. It's from Ishka. I can get it out. It's this one here. And the you. Coconut vanilla bean. So yummy. Yum. these curtains. 
quite heavy. I believe they're like blackout curtains, although I don't usually close them. But this is the first place I've lived in where I could have them just touch the floor. Usually they're, you know, I live in a room with a lower ceiling and so they kind of sit on the floor the whole time, which looks nice, but this is just a bit cleaner, having them up off the ground. And then behind there, I've got a little cable box behind there, because I hate cables, but can't live without them. And then we've got my speaker, my Bluetooth speaker. JBL, they're awesome. I've had that for ages. It's so good, it's so handy. I also thought that's just another old rickety box that I got somewhere second hand. Like I love, I love this sort of natural materials and colors. And this basket I just got from Ikea as well. I love it. It's like a cane basket, I believe. Maybe it's bamboo, I don't know. Oh, I can see a little bit of mold on it. I can't tell you guys like how much I'm struggling to get on top of all this mold. I've even found it like behind picture frames and things. It's crazy. This room divider, this is another thing from Kmart. And this thing, I'm learning guitar. So because this used to sit here, I would I'd sit on my bed with my guitar. And <laughs> those are the notes there. So I might actually put that over here. use it a whole lot when I'm playing but it's sort of just it's a good reminder if I just quickly need to know what the notes are and there's also my cowhide rug which I love I've had that for so long now this piece here I actually had to cut that away you can probably see that it's not quite normal that way but I love it. It's, I think it's called like salt and pepper. It's one of my favorite things. So I don't know guys, I think that might be everything. Let's do another quick round. It's the bedroom, office area, and it's my guitar. I don't think I showed you that before. Yeah, so that about does it guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, feel free to ask me any questions if there was anything you saw that I didn't talk about. Yeah, have a great day. See you in the comments.